The McMaster counting technique is a quantitative technique to determine the number of nematode eggs present per gram of faeces. It is used routinely in large animal faecal examinations in order to estimate the worm burden in an animal. A flotation fluid, example saturated sodium chloride, is used to separate eggs from faecal material in a McMaster counting chamber. The McMaster chamber has two compartments, each with a grid etched into the upper surface. When filled with a suspension of faeces in flotation fluid, most of the debris will sink while eggs will float to the surface and can easily be counted under the grids. The equipment required for the McMaster procedure tap water, saturated salt, this is your flotation medium, your faecal sample to be analysed, spatula and graduated cylinder, beaker, tea strainer or sieve, disposable pasture pipette, wooden applicator stick, your McMaster counting chamber, a small square of parafilm, a 15 mil test tube and a waste container. Taking your water, add 42 mils to your graduated cylinder to the first mark indicated. Then taking your faecal sample, make sure it is well mixed and add three grams to your cylinder. This will result in a total volume of 45 mils. Pour your faecal mixture through your tea strainer, collecting the filtrate in the beaker. Taking your centrifuge tube, fill it to one centimeter below the top. In order to concentrate your eggs, centrifugation is required. When using the centrifuge, ensure that both tubes are balanced. Centrifuge your sample at for four minutes at 1500 revs per minute. Your eggs will now be concentrated at the bottom of your test tube. Pour off the fluid, retaining the deposit at the bottom. Using your saturated sodium chloride, half fill the tube and mix the deposit with your applicator stick. Continue to add saturated sodium chloride until the amount added is equal to the amount of fluid poured off. Using your parafilm, gently invert the test tube several times until the mixture is homogeneous. Any worm eggs present are evenly distributed throughout the mixture. Your McMaster chamber can now be filled. Wet it under the tap as it makes it easier for the solution to be accepted. Immediately after mixing, use a pasture pipette to fill one side of the McMaster chamber. Return the excess mi mixture to the tube and remix and fill the second chamber.
Placing your McMaster chamber on your microscope stage, wait 30 seconds to one minute and then count the total number of eggs under both of the etched areas. Each grid is one centimeter by one centimeter ruled and each side has a volume of 0.15 mils. Focus your grid lines under your 4x lens and move in a straight line from the top to the bottom of the grid. If you see air bubbles, you know you're in the correct area as air bubbles also float. Using your 10x lens to identify and measure, count all eggs in both sides of your chamber. It is a simple calculation to work out eggs per gram. Count all eggs within the grid lines on both sides and multiply your total by 50. Ignore any eggs that are on the outside of the grid lines as they are not included in the calculation. The simple test tube flotation method is a qualitative test for the detection of nematode eggs as well as cestode eggs and coccidial oocysts. Simple test tube flotations are routinely used in small animal faecal examinations where the eggs per gram or quantity is not important. The test tube flotation method uses the same steps as the McMaster, 4 to 2 mils of water and add 3 grams of faecal material. But instead of using a chamber, we simply float in a test tube. Taking a cover slip and a microscope slide, use the remainder of your faecal suspension and simply top up with sodium chloride. Creating a meniscus, place your cover slip on top of this meniscus and allow the eggs to float to the top of the tube and stick to the cover slip. After 10 to 15 minutes, place the cover slip on a slide and examine using your 4x and 10x lenses under your microscope. The purpose of this practical is to understand the difference between why we use a quantitative method, MacMaster, versus a qualitative method, simple flotation, for the detection of nematode eggs in animals.